So today I'm going to be looking at stinging nettles. Now stinging nettles uh, have lots of uses. Traditionally they were used for their fibres in clothing um, and it can also make strong cordage. I'll do another video on that. In World War II they used nettles to extract chlorophyll but also to make dyes for uh, camouflage netting supposedly. But what we're going to be using it for today is its food properties. So when eating it as food, if eating it raw, uh, it tastes like a tonic and that's a nice little snack you can have on the go. Or if you're cooking it, it tastes a little bit like spinach. Uh, now nettles are unbelievably good for you. They're really high in vitamins A and C. But also uh, if you pick a nettle, 2.3% of that nettle is iron and 5.5% of the nettle is protein, which is great. That's a really high amount. So when you're picking nettles, be sure not to pick them after the start of June uh, because the leaves go bitter and the texture goes right horrible. Uh, if you're picking them young, you can pick all the leaves on the stem, but when the older leaves further down the stem get bigger, uh, the texture goes a little bit off. Um, so you just want to use the heads and I'll show you them now. So it's this part, just the tops. So we're going to make a really simple, easy, quick nettle soup. Uh, so what you'll need is a couple of things. Gloves, you can pick nettles for your fingers um, without getting stung. There is a technique, I'll show you the technique on the spring foraging video that I did that you can have a look at. If you're picking lots, use gloves, it's quicker and easier. Um, also I've got with me a wicker basket. Now with wicker baskets they're really good for foraging because they're a natural material and also they can breathe. So it's really good, especially when picking mushrooms. But if you don't want to look like a massive hippie, then just use a bucket or a bag, something like that. The only downside is, is that whatever's in it can't breathe. Um, so if you're putting it in a bag, make sure you're going to cook it soon so it doesn't all sweat out. So without further ado, I think we're going to get picking. Twenty five grams of butter melted, one small onion chopped, simmer until golden brown, two small potatoes chopped into the pan, and then two good handfuls of nettles that we picked earlier in the pot and now we're going to let these steam for about three minutes one pint of vegetable stock let that simmer for 20 minutes so i've just given this a blitz with the blender and now it's a very nice smooth consistency and that's ready to eat so you can have this soup with a bit of creme fraiche or nutmeg but i'm just going to have it just by itself Mm. 